we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. As someone who was baptised as a baby and who was brought up in the Christian faith, I went to Sunday school as a child. Uh, I grew up uh, believing without any doubts that Jesus was the saviour of the world, uh, that Jesus died on the cross uh, to save the world. But it was when I was a teenager that it hit home that Jesus was my saviour and that Jesus had died on the cross for my sins, that I could bring my faults and failings, my fears, my anxieties, and lay them at the foot of the cross and receive forgiveness and grace and care and hope. When I decided that I wanted to explore this Christian faith that had been given to me uh, and to see about making it my own, uh, I went uh, to my local Anglican church uh, and I went to Evensong, which I found baffling. We stood up, we sat down, we stood up again. People read bits of the Bible to us. We recited bits of the Bible. We sang bits of the Bible. Halfway through the service, somebody came and put the candles out, but then the service carried on and we had a sermon and some prayers. But as confusing as I found it, I found it wonderful. And it was only years later, having taken Evensong so many times myself, that the penny finally dropped as to what happened on that evening. I read the second collect. Almighty God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works do proceed, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey thy commandments, and that being defended by thee from the fear of our enemies, we may pass our time in rest and quietness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Because I'd gone to that service of Evensong in a bit of a turmoil, knowing that I wanted this Christian faith to be my path, knowing that it was to Jesus I looked and to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ that I turned, but not knowing how to make the pieces fit together. And as I sat in that service, a service that I found baffling, I felt the peace of God descend on me in a way I hadn't known for some months. And it was only years later when I realised that my vicar, Canon Douse, had prayed the second collect, give unto thy servants that peace which the world cannot give. And having been now a vicar and seen some young person come into Evensong and you think, oh no, they're going to hate it. What are they going to make of it? And praying uh, all the way at the back of your minds, please, Lord, please, Lord, help them answer their prayers, be with them, help them not to find this completely off-putting. I realised that Canon Douse must have been praying something like that as he said the office and God took him at his word. <laughs>